What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today we're using a crock pot and you guys are gonna be doing it with me, AB. That's right, it's crock pot time. Hey, you saw the thumbnail, so you know the title, you know that I'm making a crock pot goulash, right? Everybody likes goulash. Hey, listen, this is something that, man, listen, I'm gonna give you the base and you guys can put whatever you wanna put in there. But I just ask this, make it this way and just see how good it is. And check this out. If you just watched the video that I just dropped, I made my own pasta sauce, right? So listen, we're gonna incorporate that into this goulash because that's what he uses. Hey, and you're gonna see how the rest of my sauces and the rest of my dishes that I do that require a pasta sauce, how they all tie in. So check it out. It'll be an I card right up here. You guys gotta used, get used to seeing that. That way, if you click on those when these are when the video's over with, you'll get some suggestions that are related to this type of video right here. So, with that being said, listen, I'm not gonna over talk it. We finna go right over these ingredients and we finna make it happen, y'all. All right, as you can see, this is it right here. Don't forget, we are making a crock pot video, right? So it's almost like everything, it's almost like a one pot meal, but we are gonna have to like brown our, uh, we gonna have to brown our ground beef. So I'll start off by just showing this. Look, I got two pounds of ground beef, right? Look, this is 96% lean, 4% fat. Reason being, cause I'm gonna have to uh, take it and I'm gonna have to drain it anyway. So the less I have to uh, drain, the better off we are. But this right here, we are gonna brown. I'm gonna be using my induction top and I'm gonna be using this pan right here. All right. Since we over this way, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the pasta. Look, check it out. This is it right here. Look at how they shape. You guys can make it any kind of way you want to. It's up to you, but I'm just doing something different. And I can't really pronounce this name. Hey, so look, this is what it's called right here. Hey, there you go. You guys can use elbow macaroni. You know what I mean? It doesn't make a difference. It's up to you. Listen, it's just pasta. And then, you know, we got four cups of that. Here, I got like a larger dice of green, uh, green bell pepper. Uh, this was, uh, I'm gonna say this was a, a large green bell pepper. And then the onion, look, this, I had two mediums, so I went with a one and a half diced onion. Tomato paste. This is an Italian seasoning. This is just a blend, the, the basic Italian seasoning. This is one to get a smile out of everybody, because look, this that W sauce right here. Now here, I got three garlic cloves. I'm just gonna go ahead and chop them up. Just like a chop, not quite a mince, but you know, a little bit bigger than that. We're just gonna chop them. And then, voila. This is my, you know, my uh, pasta sauce. You guys, if you watched the video that I just put out, I showed you guys how to make this. Uh, super easy to make. And the thing is, you make so much of it, you just store it, store it. You can see, hey listen, I've kept them up to six months, but these probably last a year or two. You know what I mean? Just as long as you can get all the oxygen out and you wanna put it in the uh, mason jar, you know, hot. Then I got some canned mushrooms. The reason I use these canned mushrooms, I'm not gonna cook none, cause listen, they come with some liquid in there and we gonna use that liquid also. And look, I got some hunch. This is diced uh, tomatoes. And let me just tell you this right here, this is 28 ounces. So this and this is gonna be our base. All right, oh. Of course, I always use kosher salt. And here, I just got a half a cup of water. Now, this is gonna make a thick one. If you guys want it to be a little bit more on the liquid side, you can go, instead of a half, you can do a, a full cup, all the way up to a cup and a half. It's up to you how you guys wanna do it. So, you guys are seeing all of the ingredients. It's uh, super easy. I don't want to over talk it. I'm just getting ready to start browning this so we can get the ball rolling and get it inside this uh, crock pot. All right, let's go ahead and start to uh, start our browning process. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on medium high, start this, and we're gonna go ahead and just add this to the, add that to it. Now, once you see it, you know, once it starts coming up to temp and you know it's starting to brown, go ahead and take your wooden spoon, you know what I mean, and just start breaking it open. And then once it's about a little bit over half of the pink is gone, then you wanna go ahead and add your onions. And then after your onions, then you can add your green bell peppers. You know, real easy, super simple. Now, if you want your uh, green onions to have a little bit more of a bite to it or a crunch, if you like that texture, you can just omit this part and just save it and then just put it straight into the crock pot. And then listen, after the pink is completely gone, you know, right then you wanna go ahead and add your chopped garlic. And then you just wanna like add yourself a couple of pinches of uh, salt I made it so much, I just know the right amount. 
Now, look, if you look right here, look, it's really not, this is more of a, like a, a, I can't even, it's like a really a lean fat. This right here, it's only a little bit. Now I'm getting ready to stop it. And when you stop it, and as it rests right here, by the time I get set up, it won't be anything that really to drain. That's why I started out with the lean, you know, meat. You don't want to like burn your uh, your garlic, right? We got it like this. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it. We're gonna start putting everything into the crock pot. You know what? It's just super simple. You see this right here? Let me make some room. Let me bring my crock pot forward, and let's just start building this and getting this going. When it comes down to the uh, to the pasta, we're gonna do that probably the last 30 minutes when it's done. Then we're gonna go ahead and make this, and then when it's done, we're gonna add it to the uh, to the goulash. Okay, now that I got everything, you know, arranged and set up, I'm gonna start off by putting, I'm gonna put the ground beef in first. It's brown. We're gonna go ahead and just start getting this inside right now. Now we're gonna add our Italian seasoning. Just put that in there. Just giving it a whirl. It's gonna all cook and we gotta stir it up anyway, but I like for the dry herb to be right on here and mixed up by itself. And then the rest of it is just really a dump and go. W sauce. Tomato paste. Now, you remember I talked about the mushrooms, right? Listen, it comes in the, in the liquid. We're not gonna drain it. We're gonna use everything. As you can see, we're just gonna go ahead and add it. Because if you remember, I told you this is gonna make a, it's gonna already be thick. So we just move that around. Now, I guess I could say, you know what? Mushrooms are kind of like optional. A lot of people don't you know, like mushrooms, you know what I mean? But listen, I just ask, give it a try, see what you think, and then uh, next time you make it, you can go from there. You remember I showed you, and also in the iCard above, right? I talked about, you know, and showed how to make your own pasta sauce. Now, here it is. I poured three cups out of some other jars. We're just gonna add that. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and put the diced tomatoes in. I'm gonna say this, I like fire roasted. I actually thought I had some, but this is what I had in my pantry. So this is what I'm using. But listen, fire roasted is fire. Just what it says. So just go ahead and pour this in. And then we are gonna add that half a cup of water. Now we are just gonna give it a stir. You know, give it, get it all mixed up. Now, what I did was I put everything else in there minus the pasta, right? We're gonna cook this. Now you can do it two ways. You can cook it on high for two hours or you can cook it on low to like from like four to four to five hours, you know, on low. But you guys can see it right here. Hey, this right here, look at that. It already looks good, doesn't it? So let's get it cooked. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do right now? This is something that I do. I know because I make this so often, I'm gonna give it a couple of pinches, you know, of salt. You guys just watching your sodium. You know what, don't add any salt until after you taste it. You know what I mean? And then you go from there. But I know it just needs just something, you know, just a little bit of something to wake it up. Now, let me put this top on. And let's go ahead and set it. Now, you wanna go ahead and set your temperature to high. If you're using high, it'll be two hours. And if you're using low, you can go ahead and double that and make it four hours. Okay, it's been two hours on high. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now I wanna tell you this. Listen, it's a crock pot, right? Hey, don't forget, you can't be taking the top on and off, looking at it, trying to get a peek at it, or even trying to like, you know, taste it or whatever. I mean, if you're gonna do that, just do it once, cause you gotta remember this. If you looking, you ain't cooking. And it being a crock pot, you let, that's part of all of the process having the lid on. So when you lift this up, you can add another 20 to 30 minutes onto your cook. Now, I want you guys to look at that. Oh man, it smells good. Look, that right there. Let me bring it up here so y'all can see it. Ooh wee. All right, I went ahead and made my, you know, my pasta, you know, per the instructions that's on the box. Now we are gonna go ahead and add it. I've already put it in the colander. We are just gonna go ahead. Oh, look at that. We are just gonna add that to it. And we are gonna get it, you know, mixed in. This right here, you wanna talk about a hearty meal. Hey, so right off the back, when you see this right now, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, what kind of bread would you serve this with? Get this lid back on top. Now I'm finna set it. We just wanna let it run on high for about another 20 minutes. All right, 
let's take a look at it. My timer just went off. This has been 20 minutes, you know, with the pasta in the inside. We all know when we have these pasta dishes, how good it is the next day, right? This right here is gonna be fire, folks. You can smell it. Now we're gonna taste it. And then whatever you think it needs, you can add some more Italian uh, seasoning to it if that's what you like. Uh, as far as the salt go, I would leave that up to each individual person that has their own bowl. Now, let's go ahead and get us a bowl. And we're gonna start putting some of this in this bowl right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Now tell me what you guys think. You could just see how delicious this is. Nothing like, you know, just goulash served hot. Now, what I did was I cut up some green onions so that I can put them on top. Really, I like the taste and I like the way the green makes it pop. And don't judge me, you guys. Yes, I did use cheese. Hey, tell me what you guys are gonna put on it. All right, so tell me what you guys think. Super easy, huh? Hey, listen, ain't nothing like having a crock pot uh, recipe to follow. Cause listen, it almost all the time, it'll just go right inside. This time we got to do a little browning. You know, we got to work outside the crock pot, but ultimately we go inside of it, then we gonna cook it. Then when we add that pasta, listen, it turns into magic. Now I'm gonna show it to you one more time cause I'm ready to dig in. I got a big bowl of it. This is it right there. I hope you guys can see it. And yes, that is cheese. Listen, don't judge me. I know that we don't put cheese on it. You know what I mean? But hey, it's the way we gonna do it today. You know, that's completely optional. Oh man, I can barely even talk right now. Just the anticipation from this right here. Hey, cheers. Mm. Hey, you wanna talk about fire? That's it right there. So listen, if you got a big family or you wanna make this, this is perfect for like, you know, having leftovers and you know, taking it to lunch, however you wanna do it. Listen, it makes a big pot. Uh, you can feed up to eight people on it. I'm gonna say six, you know what? Cause when they taste it, they're gonna, hey, it might not, it might not be enough for eight. Hey, so check this out. This is what I was holding back. That's right, got that garlic cheese toast. Hey, I'm finna chow down. Hey, so listen, I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below, you know, is this a meal for you? Even if you wanna see more Crock-Pot videos, let me know, just leave a comment. I do get around to getting to them. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, you know how I'm about to get out of here. I got y'all. Peace.